Hi everyone, and welcome to another Microsoft Flight Simulator SDK tutorial. Last time we covered how to create a basic airport, and in this tutorial we're going to be adding taxiways, aprons and parking to finish off the basic structure of that airport. So the first thing we need to do is load up the airport we saved last video. So we come up to the dev mode toolbar and click on open project. Navigate to the project folder that you saved and then open up the XML file inside. From there you'll open up the project editor, we can see the project and uh, the asset so if we click on the BGL asset group and click loading editor, that'll pop us out into the top down view and load up the scenery editor. So the first thing we need to do is add some taxiways to this airport. So if you come over to the objects panel and then the object type, click on the drop down and choose taxiway point. So before we start laying out our taxiways, I'm just going to go over the different ways that you can make taxiways in this game. So if I just click add here, we get the individual taxiway points and we'd have to Control click on those and click create path to link them together. And as you can imagine that can be very very tedious if you need to do all the taxiway points in an airport. So the quick way to do that is to click on this one click placing button here. And that gives us a little uh, taxiway point you see that follows your cursor around and that's a much better way of doing it. So that's how we're going to be doing it in this video. So first before we start making our taxiways just make sure you've got normal selected here and not any of the hold short options. So with one click placing selected, I'm going to start creating a taxiway along here. So first I'm just going to create one piece of taxiway path. So as you can see I've got the two points and a path connecting them. If we click on the path to select it, you can see in the properties panel we get a load of options for the taxiway. It's worth setting up the options before you start creating your taxiway paths because they will take on any of the properties you set in the first piece of taxiway path. So in here I'm just going to change the taxiway material, so if I click on the material box and go over to the material editor on the right here, select taxiway and taxi asphalt, that's a bit better for this airport. I'm also going to reduce the width down a bit because these are quite narrow taxiways, so something about 25 might be a bit better. I'm going to add on a center line and I'm going to make that center line lighted. And I'm going to leave off uh, the edges of the taxiway but you can add those as you want like so and there's other different varieties of uh, taxiway edges I'm just going to leave those off like I said. So with that done we need to start creating our taxiway again so if I was just to click one click placing and start clicking now we'd get a separate taxiway path and that's not what we want so before we do that you need to select the previous taxiway point like so hit one click placing and then carry on clicking your taxiway and it'll carry on and make the taxiway path like so. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly go through and create all the taxiway paths in this airport. I'll get back to you. There we go. So once you've finished doing your taxiways, you can deselect one click placing, then you can select things again. So I'm going to come over here and uh, I've got a little junction here. So what you need to do at a junction is select one of the points that you want to start your path from, enable one click placing again and then carry on placing and you'll see here, if I just zoom in a little bit, we get this nice line coming off there so I'm just going to take this down to the runway and I'll do the same for the other side so select the point you want to start with, hit one click placing and now we've got these two points here that we need to link up so I've got this one selected as you can see it's highlighted white there by control click on the other point then right click and select create path it links them up like so, so that's a nice little junction going there. So I'm going to carry on and do that for the other paths as well. Okay, so that's looking pretty good for me. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to add the whole short lines to these taxiways. So first, it's a lot easier to do this if you can see the satellite image. So one way to do that is to click on the taxiway path you've got here and select draw surface. First, I'm just going to right click and select select all paths then disable draw surface for all of them and that way we just take away the material on there and we can see the satellite image here so I can just very barely see there's a whole short line here there's another whole short line here so what I'm going to do I'm just going to take the points and just align these a little bit better so that one of the taxiway points is over the whole short line I'll do the same for this one that one's pretty close already then for the point that you want to turn into a whole short line if you just select the taxiway point, go over to the properties panel and then select hold short here. 
Well, I can see that that's the correct way around, so we've got the solid lines facing away from the runway. And then I'm going to do the one here, and I know that this one is a ILS hold short, like so. So let's just quickly dash over to the other end of the runway and do that one as well. Down here, I can just about see we've got a hold short there. This one is kind of in between two points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the taxiway path. I'm going to right click and split the path. And what that does is it gives you a point along the midpoint of that taxiway path. I'm going to turn that one into my hold short line. And we can see this time it's the wrong way round. The solid line is pointing towards the runway, not away from it. So what we want to do is come to the properties and just select reverse in the orientation and that fixes that for us. So I'll come over here and just do the same for this ILS hold short. I'll just move this point out as well. Hit the ILS hold short and I'll select reverse on that as well. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So we've got our hold short lines here. Uh, whilst we're down here, I'm just going to re-enable all the surfaces on all the taxiways. So there is one important thing that you need to do if you want AI and ATC to work correctly with your airport and the taxiways and the runways, and that is to create a taxiway path that goes along your runway. So how we need to do this is we need to select the taxiway points that are on both ends of the runway, so this one and the one far away down there, and then uh, create a path between them. So first we need to select this taxiway point, and if you're having trouble selecting the taxiway points because you keep clicking on the runway, one easy thing to do is just come over to the senior editor and just close the little drop down above runway, and then you can only click on the taxiway point. So if I select this one and just travel over to the other end of the runway, and then click control and select this one as well, right click, and then create path, and we have a nice long taxiway path that goes along here. Next step, we're not done yet is to click on the taxiway path and change the type to a runway. Now you may notice we've got an, an error now in the scenery editor and that's because this taxi path must reference a runway. So we've got an extra option down here now, number, so I'm going to choose 02 because we're on the 02 runway and that error goes away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to here and I'm going to join up all of my taxiways that are midway along the runway just onto this uh, runway taxiway path. Okay, so they're all linked up now. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add another taxiway up here and then we're going to start creating this apron and the parking space. So just like we've done before, I'm going to select the one-click placing and start creating our taxiway off here. I'm going to take it all the way up onto the apron. I can't really see the taxiway lines on the satellite view here. I think it runs about here, so let's just snake this around like that. There we go. Next, we want to add our apron. So if we come over to the objects panel and select apron here, and we've got three options for the apron. We've got default, disk, and square. So the last two are pretty self-explanatory. If I just add these in here, we've got a circular apron, and we've got square apron, like so. This is technically a rectangle, I guess, because you could make it longer like that. But the one I'm going to use is the default apron. So this works like the polygon tool, if you've used that before. So you'll get a little red dot with your cursor and you have to hold control and then left click to trace out the area of your apron. So I'm just going to quickly do that. Okay, and then I've got my apron traced out now and I've just got this last point. I'm going to hit the enter key and that finalizes the apron like so. Now I've got these ugly taxiways going along here and I'm not sure I want those on here. You could try and match up the te textures on the taxiways, but an easier way to do it is just to select your taxiways like so. And then like we did before, to see the satellite image, we're going to uncheck draw surface. There we go. Just going to move that up like that. There we go. That looks pretty good. Uh, I think it's time to add some parking spaces to this airport. So there's a distinction between the gates and parking in this game so if we go to the taxiway parking uh, object type we will see we've got uh, fuel we've got gates we've got ramps different descriptions uh, if I just click on the one click placing we can see the different types of these so we've got general aviation ranging from small to absolutely gigantic and then we've got gates ranging from again from small to quite large the difference between ramps and gates is that ramps or just parking, just get general aviation planes spawning there from AI planes etc. 
it doesn't affect uh, human players, so if you, you can spawn at gates or at, r at ramps, depend no matter what plane you've got selected. But the AI will generally spawn general aviation at the ramps, and they'll generally spawn airliners and jets at the gates. The other distinction is that if I place one of these down, so if I just plant, place some uh, large ramps over here maybe, uh, and then I place down a gate, if I scroll down through the uh, scenery editor here, we can see the taxiway parking gates, they have these jetway objects as well. And you need to add a either a scenery or a uh, sim object to those to get them to work correctly. So uh, that can be a jetway, like an actual jetway that connects to the plane, or it could just be like a, a ramp or any other sim object for that matter in the game. But usually you just add a jetway or a, a boarding ramp there so that you can call those to your airplane when you need to load passengers, etc. Uh, there is one other thing that all these have in common. So we need to add numbers to these. So if I scroll all the way up to the airport we can say we've got duplicated taxi parking non zero non and that's because all of these currently have the parking zero for their number so we need to give them unique identifiers so if we just go through here and I'm going to name them just one to six like so so that's removed the uh, error off our airport object but we still have errors on the jetways here so if we come across add a sim object and I'm just going to add boarding stairs at this airport because there's no jetways on this terminal. So I'm going to move this across to the correct parking space. And you can see here there's a little green line designating that this boarding stair belongs to this parking space, this gate. So I'm just going to click and do the same for the other ones as well. So when you're adding jetways, you either need to add a sim object or a scenery. You could add up to two of those on each jetway. So that's us free of errors now. So there's one last thing to do to get these parkings and these gates working correctly, and that's to link them up to our taxiway path we've got here. So how I like to do this is just to split, keep splitting the path and just add a taxiway point perpendicular to each of these parking spots. And then what you want to do is if you select your taxiway point, control click on the parking or the gate and then right click and create path and just do that for all of your parking spaces okay so that's those set up now and you'll see when you link them up you also get a, a little texture as well going on there if I just pick up one of these parking spaces here I'll go through the options on these so we've got the heading and the radius the ramp type or the parking type which we choose up here we've got the name it's important to set the name so if I click this drop down here we can see we've got parking and then we've got Northeast Southwest parking, we've got gate, and we've got letter assigned gates. So if you set an option in here, you'll get it in the ATC menu and you'll be able to taxi to these parkings. If you don't set it, it won't show up as a as a taxi to option in the ATC menu. So if I chose parking here, we get an option taxi to parking and the ATC would give us directions to this parking spot. You can also choose a area of parking. So if I was to choose uh, N for North here, um, in the ATC menu it would ask me do I want to taxi to North Parking and I could use that to separate areas of the airport so for example on this airport we've got the main apron here and we've got a little auxiliary uh, parking area here so I could call these I could call these North and I could call these like Northeast or East call these ones South etc uh, depending on where they are on the airport and then in the taxi to menu in the ATC panel you'll get options to taxi to each of those differently so I'm just going to go ahead and call all of these parking and the ones on the right gate. Another option you've got in the properties for parking and gates is you've got the suffix. So this is just, they're all labelled gates but it, it applies the same for parking and for gates. So you've just got like gate A through Z. And these allow you to uh, append letters to your parking spaces. So for example in some airports you'll have gates that are close together so they're labelled uh, left, right and centre or L, R and C and this this allows you to do that in uh, the flight simulator so if you choose a letter say for example I chose R this would show up in the world map as gate 1R or parking 1R or any other letter applies and you can do that to separate parking spaces and by doing this it allows you to also have two parking spaces with the same number because they're technically still separate uh, parking spaces so I could have uh, 
one L and one R. If I did choose the same ones, then you'd start getting an error because they're the same parking space now. So I'll call these one L and one R. So there's one last thing we need to do on this airport, and that's to give our taxiways names. So at the moment, everything would work, but if we were to spawn in at one of these parking spaces up here and request taxi to the active runway, we'd get a read back from the ATC controller that sounded something like taxi two and hold short runway two zero via taxiway. And it wouldn't give us a taxiway direction. And if you want to make your airport as realistic as possible, it's nice to be able to add taxiway names as they are in, in the real world. So how we do that is in the taxiway path properties at the bottom here. We've just got the name box and we just type a letter in there and then that will come up on the taxiway readout as like via taxiway alpha bravo, etc. So a quick way to do this, rather than having to click through each of these manually, each segment and adding the taxiway name, if you select part of the path you want to name, so for example this one, you right click and you select linked paths, that will select the taxiway path all the way between two points. So between this one here because that's the runway and between that one because it starts at a junction so it just selects this straight edge. I'm going to call this taxiway alpha. And if I come over here and select this one down here, I could call this one for example taxiway bravo so on. You give all of your taxiway names and then when you get routed to and from parking spaces, to and from the runways, the ATC controller will give you correct taxiway directions. So I'm just going to go do that and do that across my whole airport. Okay, so I've finished off adding all the taxiway names and one quick way to verify that you've done that correctly is if you come over to the scenery editor up here and you've got the rendering option click that and you've got an option for taxi names and that will show you just an overlay of all the letters of the taxiways that you've created so I've got my taxiway A which is my main one, I've got taxiway Bravo uh, Charlie and that goes all the way up to the apron over here as well I've also got some extra options in here which are nice like taxi whip and airport names I'm just going to toggle those off for now there are more useful options as well under options, uh, airports you can toggle on draw or debug and you get a load of extra options and this also works when you're not in the scenery editor for so for any airport in the world that you're at you can toggle these on and check out what's going on at their airport so that's pretty much it for adding taxiways aprons and park into our airport we should be ready to do a little test flight now so i'm going to build this package i'm going to load it into the sim and i'm going to restart and jump into the flight so see you in a minute okay so i'm loaded back into flight sim here and i'm just in the world map and as we can see I've got my airport that I'm editing selected and if I just open up the drop down for the spawn point here we can see we've got all the parking spaces and the gates that we created and here we've got the, the 1L and the 1R from those suffixes that we added to those ones so I'm just going to spawn in on one of the medium gates and then just click fly okay so I'm loaded in at the airport now and uh, we just come over here, as we can see, we've already got some AI traffic loaded in at the airport. I don't know if you can see on the far side there, there's already a Cessna that's requested a taxi out and he's going to the active runway. Uh, so if we just hop back out of drone camera here, we request the same, so I'm going to request a departure straight out here. And we've got our taxi uh, clearance there with a taxiway direction along Charlie Alpha, uh, which is correct as we expected. And as you can see, we've got the ribbon as well here. So I'm just going to taxi over to the end of the runway, and I'll see you in a minute. As we can see, the taxiway ribbon actually just takes us to the whole short line here, as it should do. So if I request to take off clearance from the tower, there we go. So I'm just going to take off and fly a quick traffic pattern here, and then come back in for a landing, and we can check out uh, taxiing back to the gate.
There we go, so got our landing clearance there. There is an aircraft on the runway there, so that's going to be interesting. Nice, so we've been instructed there by the ATC to do a quick go around. Lovely. And as you can see there, that of a um, the Cessna has just taken off, so that's great. So I'm just going to do a quick go around here. There we go, so. ATC is telling us to turn off this next taxiway, so we're getting the taxiway ribbon as well, so I'm just going to pull off on this one. And there we can see on the right, we've got the request taxi to the gates, or the request taxi to the parking, because those two are named differently on the uh, parking property, so I'm going to choose taxi to parking. There we go, so we've got our uh, taxiway clearance there, and we've got our taxiway directions matching the taxiway names that we gave to the taxiways in the properties list. So I'm just going to taxi over there and get parked up. There we go, that's it for creating our basic airport. It should now be fully functional with a runway, taxiways and parking. And we've flown a quick traffic pattern to make sure the ATC works correctly and we've also seen AI taking off from this airport. In future videos I'll be covering how to add more of the little details that help make handcrafted airports shine. If you've got any questions or if there's anything in particular you'd like me to cover in future videos, let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you've enjoyed and until next time, thanks for watching.